this is Claire Brown. I'm back again with some tips and tricks for food prep to help make your healthy eating easier all week long. Uh, today we're going to talk about salads. Uh, I know a lot of people love salads. They can take a little bit of work to get going and, and to put everything together. Uh, and if they're just boring lettuce and tomato, then we don't love them quite as much. So today I'm going to show you how to create your own little salad bar. Um, which makes it easier for you or your loved ones or your kids to just jump in the freezer and you know kind of build their own yummy salad uh, and also put together two super quick salads that you can uh, keep in your refrigerator for people to either add to their lettuce or you can add to a main dish uh, you could take it for your lunch and they're the kind of things that will last for a couple days they're not going to get wilty and gross so first we're just going to talk about the main part of the salad which generally is lettuce this is a romaine, uh, it's what my family likes. Uh, you can use any kind of lettuce you want, green leaf, uh, they have those beautiful bags full of like spring mix, you can do kale, baby kale, uh, you can use you know, even heavier greens as long as you chop them up kind of finely and uh, give them a little bit of um, tender loving care. They can work well in a salad too, you don't always have to cook things like kale and collards. So the first thing I wanna mention is when you prep your lettuce, whether you're doing it, you know, to use the next day or you're using it for that evening, it really is the best choice to tear it. Um, the reason for that is, uh, and I'm full disclaimer, I do cut lettuce. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes I, I don't follow my own advice, but because lettuce um, is made up of membranes, just like every other living thing, um, when you tear it, you pull it apart from where those cellular structures come together. It kind of is a natural point of disconnection. When you cut it, you are gonna be cutting through those cells and that's what makes it um, go back quickly when it gets brown and kind of um, oxidized. So um, tearing it definitely helps it to stay fresh longer. And lettuce is one of those things that you should wash um, when you prep it. So don't wait to like try to rinse it off before you use it because then your salad will be watery. So when you're getting everything ready, I'm just gonna put this in like a salad spinner a lot of people use these. Um, the other way is if you have just a big bin, like a big bus tub or Tupperware bin, fill it with water, put all your lettuce in there, let it kind of soak, and even if it was wilty from the market or driving home, it'll perk it up, and then do let it dry. So you can layer it with towels in kind of a big Tupperware or whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, salad spinners are very popular because they don't take up much space and it's easy to rinse them and spin them and have things ready to go when you want them. So that's all I'm gonna say about the lettuce part for now. Uh, we're gonna talk more about the toppings, but um, use the lettuce you like. Make sure it's clean and ready to go. That's the worst thing when my husband's like, oh, I'll have salad for lunch. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> easy to say, but now I gotta go like get the head of lettuce out, clean it, you know, half an hour later, I'm over salad. All right, so you've got your lettuce and you want your family, you want yourself to be able to pull all the good stuff out kind of at once, right? If you're digging through the refrigerator and you're looking for the olives and the, you know, whatever you like, beets, my husband loves beets, or the carrots or the celery or whatever else you put on your salad, um, that takes time. You're gonna forget the thing you really like and you'll be like, oh, I forgot. They were buried behind the, you know, leftovers from yesterday. So what I'm using today, and this is just a fun thing. I found this on sale somewhere. It's just like a Tupperware that has little spaces in it, like a crudite tape you know, dish, but I can put all of my salad toppings in there. So when my husband or one of my kids wants salad or even like something to dip their hummus, they can just pull the whole thing out, open it. And the nice thing is I can sneak things in there that they might not normally choose, but if they're sitting in there, they might just add a couple to their bowl anyway. So what we're gonna start with is the super easiest things, which is opening a can. Uh, I know that doesn't sound healthy, but it really is. Canned foods can be great. Be careful of the sodium content. You can buy things that are lower in sodium, but really just rinsing them is gonna help if you're watching your salt intake. One of the things I'm gonna stick in here first is beans, because beans are so good for you and most people don't eat enough of them. Now, if I served my husband a salad with a bunch of beans in it, he would probably kind of grumble. But if I put beans that I know he'll like, like chickpeas, in here, right? then he can put as many as he wants on. And again, if he had to take a separate container out of the fridge to put those chickpeas on his salad, he probably wouldn't do it, but they're right there in front of him along with everything else. 
The other thing that he likes is carrots. Most people do. And we're kind of a funny family. We don't like shredded carrots. I don't know why. But you can buy shredded carrots. You can buy whole carrots and shred them yourself. These are sticks, which people can, you know, break up or chop up before they put them on the salad, whatever they want to do. Um, I happen to like radishes. And the rest of my family is not so crazy about them, but I want them to be ready. So I'm going to just cut a few of them to stick in there. And who knows, maybe somebody else will grab one of those yummy cruciferous vegetables to throw in one day. Um, just because they're so pretty. If it's in front of you, you're more likely to eat it, right? So there I go. Not a ton of them, I don't want them to go bad, but enough that I know I'll eat them. Now the other thing I'm going to stick in here, because I have them, is red pepper. And the reason I have red pepper chopped up is I'm making a bean salad. And that bean salad has diced red pepper in it. So actually, I'm just going to go ahead and dump this. Here's my empty bowl. So as I'm going, I'm kind of making another salad at the same time so that I have it. So that's in. And these red pepper sticks, I'm going to throw right into this salad bar container. And you don't have to use a fancy container. You could use just a regular Tupperware, like I have tons of these little mini Tupperwares, you know, whatever works for you to put things in. In fact, one of the things I said my husband loves is beets. Now, if I put beets in this container, it's going to be a mess right? So that is one thing I'm going to put in a separate container. But you notice I am opening the can, draining it, and putting it in a Tupperware because having to go grab the can out of the thing, open it up, that's a lot of work. So my prep is we're opening the can, we're draining it, it's going in a separate container, and I'll put it right next to the salad stuff so we won't miss it. Okay, the other thing that my family loves is olives. And sure, this is already in a jar. You know, they could easily just grab it out of the refrigerator that way. But... They're going to be a lot happier when they see those olives in the container ready to go. And it's going to be so pretty, it's going to be inviting, right? They're really going to say, oh, I want to have a salad because I remember how pretty it was yesterday. So I'm going to throw some of these olives in. They also like pickles. Uh, I didn't happen to grab a jar of those, but those would probably go in here too. <laughs> All right, so see already, it's gorgeous. Um, what am I missing? Corn. Corn is wonderful. It gives everything a nice sweet pop, even if you have sort of a dressing. You know, I don't know, a lot of people like heavy dressings and you're trying to stay away from all that, you know, sodium and sugar and like really heavy uh, things like blue cheese and ranch and whatever. So you're eating something lighter and you might not be too excited about it. <laughs> so something like corn, which is kind of sweet, has a really nice sweet flavor, is going to lift the flavor of those um, salads. So I'm going to throw some in there. And this is a frozen bag. It's not even defrosted. <laughs> I'm throwing it in there. By the time they eat it tomorrow, it will be defrosted and ready to go. And the rest of it's going in my bean salad. <laughs> okay. So waste not, want not. All right. Uh, the other thing that's going to be nice in here, I would not put onions in a closed container with other things because it's just going to make everything stink. But scallions are a little different. They're a little more fun. Uh, and not as, I don't know, they're not as strong. So you could probably throw fruit scallions in here and they're not going to make the whole container smell like onions. Um, now if you have people in your house who are allergic to onions or don't like onions, then by all means put them separate. But for this moment, we're going to do it like that. Speaking of onions, these red onions are awesome. Again, if I was cutting red onions for the salad, I'd probably put them in one of those separate Tupperwares. These are going in my bean salad. So one more container down. All right. Uh, the other thing I have is cabbage. I love cabbage. You know, I could eat red cabbage all day long and I know that beautiful red color is filled with really healthy antioxidants. Uh, unfortunately, not everyone loves cabbage as much as I do, but they will eat it. So if I just put a little bit in here, maybe next to where my red peppers are, again, someone's gonna see it and they're just gonna be kind of going pinch, 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 a little bit of everything in there and they might not pass it by if it's right there in front of them. So there goes our red cabbage. Same for green cabbage, whatever. Uh, there's so many vegetables, I can't possibly hit them all. Um, the other one is gonna be celery. I love celery. We're gonna put some in this bean salad. And celery, you can dip in things. It has a nice salty flavor. So for people who um, want that, kinda is gonna lift that uh, salad, it's so crunchy, right? Now, of course, there are people who don't like celery. So, to each his own. You have to work around everybody's wants and dislikes. All right, so I've got a little bit of everything in here. 
I've got a beautiful salad bar. The only thing I forgot, and actually, let me finish slicing this. It's going in that bean salad. I didn't want to spend tons of time chopping things in front of you, but if I don't chop anything, it's really cheating, right? So here we go. Celery in the blue bowl, or sorry, red bowl. <laughs> Last thing for the salad bar is cucumber. Now, cucumber is something I'm not crazy about, but I'm loving it more and more, and I've always eaten it. It's not like I don't eat it. Um, the skin, some people find a little tough. And it can be waxy, you know what I mean, if you buy from the market like that. What I do is I kind of rough peel it. So there's still a little bit on there to make it look interesting, but not enough that it's like, I don't know, slimy and tough when you take a bite. And it's kind of up to you how you want to put this in here, but I'm going to put them in whole pieces because that way if people are trying to find a finger food, they can just grab one out. I'm out of room. I need a bigger container. <laughs> okay, so here's our salad bar starter and again you can just put all these things in separate tupperware containers and maybe put them all in one bin in the fridge like you know just so it's easy like boom i got every salad thing i need you could even put the dressing in there and whatever and we're ready to go and if people don't eat the salad in the first two days then stick it on the dinner table and be like uh crudite for appetizers today because y'all didn't eat your salad this week <laughs> all right so the salad bar salad is done and we're gonna move on to the bean salad. Okay, I already have some celery in here. I've got red onion, I've got uh, corn, the red pepper, um, and I'm gonna put beans. Now, the original recipe is from PCRM. It's Physicians Committee for Responsible Mess, and they have a huge database, great archives of recipes. Um, this is a little different. I add a bunch of stuff, I take other things out. I think the original recipe is three or four cans of beans. I know that if I put that much beans in here, it's gonna be so big that in five days, I'm still gonna be eating it. And I don't wanna just be the only one eating it. So I'm gonna start with kidney beans, which everyone in my family likes. If your family doesn't like kidney beans, pick a different one. Just rinse them. These are reduced sodium. I just rinsed them off in like a little spider thing like this. Um, or you can get these fun little can tops that, whatever. Um, I have chickpeas left from what I put in my salad bar salad, so those are going in there because I'm not going to save half a can of chickpeas for no reason. And then pintos, which I like because they're kind of soft um, and they're going to give a little different texture. See, all these things, the chickpeas are kind of firm, the kidney beans are meaty, right, in their texture, and then these pintos are kind of soft, so it's giving you a little bit of a different texture with each bean. Um, I'm only going to put half a can of these in because I don't want to make too much and the other half is going to go in the veggie burgers that I'm making in the next video. So <laughs> there you go. All right, this is it. I'm looking around to see if I'm missing anything. No, I'm not. You could put a ton of other stuff in here, whatever you want. But for now, I'm just going to kind of mix it this way. Uh, tomatoes would go great in here. You notice I didn't put tomatoes in that salad bar because they'll get mushy. Just have those little grape tomatoes around. Maybe those would be easy to pop in for tomato loving people. And you see how pretty it is, right? And that could be something, you could put that in a burrito. You can add it to stew one night if you run out of, you know, vegetables for your vegetable soup. Uh, and the main thing is the dressing. And luckily with this salad, the dressing is gonna be super easy and we're gonna make it without oil because all of those vegetables are so starchy, beans, corn, it's gonna really make the dressing creamy as it sits in there, even though it's just vinegar and you know flavoring. So I'm gonna do a little mashup and this is my dressing jar because I can, it has a big mouth, it's easy to pour it into, I can just close it and shake it. You can use, is anybody old out there like me? You got one of these kicking around. I even have the lid still. Yeah, you want to post beneath this video, like, where did that come from? Some of you know. Um, but I'm going to do rice vinegar, which is kind of sweet and mild tasting. And the nice thing about not adding a lot of fats and, um, you know, sugars and things to this, there'll be a little sugar, but not too much, is that you can use as much as you want. You don't have to say, oh, I can only have a tablespoon or two of, you know, dressing on my salad. Nope. Uh, and this whole salad could act as your dressing for your green salad at night. Uh, so I have rice vinegar, apple cider vinegar. I'm also going to put in some lemon juice. And yes, I'm cheating. I'm not squeezing a fresh lemon. You are welcome to. I put probably a little less lemon juice than the other two. Uh, we'll post a recipe with the video. Uh, so we have all the kind of like tangy, acidic things. I do put mustard in. I love mustard. Um, you can put whatever. You, you can put ketchup in. I don't care. <laughs> whatever tastes good to you. 
I'm gonna ground some pepper. I see that right in front of me. I am gonna put some salt in here because my family is gonna to wanna to eat it and I want them to be able to enjoy it. I have Italian seasoning. So you could use any kind of flavor profile you want. You could use like cumin and coriander, make it kind of Mexican with some chili powder. This is sort of all American kind of stuff. So this just has things like marjoram and oregano and basil and it smells great, but it's sort of a catch-all. It'll go with anything. Uh, we're also going to put garlic in because garlic is going to make it taste yummo. I put a lot in because I love garlic. And the sweet is going to be, because I have pure maple syrup, that's why I'm putting it in. You could use regular sugar. Um, it won't dissolve quickly, so that's one reason I'm using. That was maybe half a tablespoon, possibly. And what am I missing? Did I forget anything? I'm not sure. When I post the recipe, y'all can tell me I forgot to stick it in here. And the nice thing is you can just taste it and see if it's any good. Uh, yep, I'm going to use my finger. Wow, it's a little lemony, but I have enough sweet. Uh, and if you do want to put oil, if you're going to add a little extra virgin olive oil or something in there, that's fine. Whatever is going to work for you. Now, when you taste this, without putting it on the salad, you're going to say, oh my gosh, it's too tart. But it's not because that salad is going to cream it up big time. So I'm going to start by pouring all of it on there. <laughs> and I'm going to mix it up. I have a mixer. Close up. And it's just going to go in my fridge. And that's it. Perfect. So we've got bean salad. It was basically the same stuff I was throwing in my salad bar I was prepping. And it's going to stick in my refrigerator. Okay? The second one I'm making, super, super quick, because I know this is going super long, is red cabbage slaw. And that's something that um, I found it on the Forks Over Knives um, recipe app. Uh, theirs has all kinds of, you know, you know, specific fruits and things. I'm kind of riffing out on that. Theirs does have oranges. Uh, I'm cheating and using canned mandarin oranges. Um, and again, I think I'm gonna throw them all in there. If anything, I'll just add more cabbage. Um, I'm going to add an apple. You guys know I love apples, and so I'm going to just quickly slice some apple to throw in here because it's going to give a little tartness. It's crunchy, right? It's going to just give it a little bit of a pick-me-up. Um, and fruits are great in salads. They make you not miss the dressing as much because it sweetens everything up. Uh, I'm going to make it kind of chunky. Could have been prettier. Uh, cucumbers would do great in here. I'm not going to take the time to cut those. Uh, the recipe has walnuts, which I love, so they're going in. Uh, and also raisins, which or raisins, whatever, dried fruit, do great in a salad. It just gives you that little surprise. And their dressing um, includes balsamic vinegar, which I would not normally put in a slaw, so I'm going to go a little crazy and just do it, and we're going to see what happens because I'm feeding this to my family tonight. One, two, three. I'm going a little light. It's like three to one with um, syrup, uh, pure maple syrup, which is another reason I have it out here. You could use any kind of liquid sweetener or um, if you're gonna mix it up in a jar, then you can, oh my gosh, I can't open it now. Oh, there we go. Uh, if you're gonna mix it up in a jar, you can use something that's granulated. You just have to give it time to dissolve. Um, but I'm also going to cut it, just like I did with the other one, a little bit of rice vinegar because that's mild, it's not super tangy, but it's not as sweet. And I'm kind of afraid that balsamic vinegar is going to be super sweet. Okay. The nice thing is you can add a little more later, whatever. You notice this one doesn't have too many ingredients, so I'm not making it in a jar. I'm just pouring it right on top. Boom. That's sweet enough. We've got so many fruits in here. And... I guess I should have grabbed a spoon. Oh, you can grab another one of these. I know you love my close-ups. And you could use green cabbage. You could, you could even shred kale. I mean, you can put any kind of sort of heavy green um, or cruciferous vegetable, even cauliflower florets. I don't know. Whatever you like, whatever you have sticking in your refrigerator is what I'm gonna say. Whatever you need to use up. Oh, look, how pretty, right? It's got the fruits. Maybe I'll cut a few more apples in there. It's missing a little green. There's no onion in here right now, so I'm going to take some of those scallions that I chopped up and throw those in, and I think it's going to be perfect. 
Um, and that's the other thing that's nice about having this kind of salad bar sitting here is because say you're cooking a recipe and you're like, oh, I don't feel like chopping, whatever. Boom. Here's, see, there's my scallions. <laughs> I didn't even have to do it. So this is Claire Brown. Uh, this is our quick uh, prep for the week salad bar salad. Uh, and you can make it however you want to. There's so many recipes online. If you can't find one, let me know. I'll find it for you. But even though this looks a mess, it's half of the stuff's going in the garbage, right? It's cans. Everything else is going in a salad bowl and getting put away. I'm not putting anything back in the refrigerator that's not ready to be eaten. So good luck. Enjoy your salad. And I'll see you next time.